thousand years in here. So how many of you guys have ever heard of the latest shoe? Like uh, Nike Jordans or those, those really cool Adidas's? I was looking up online, there's literally a shoe that is uh, embroidered in gold. And, 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 and uh, these shoes, they're very rare, and so people will literally wait in lines. They wrap around the buildings and they'll literally wait in these lines for weeks just to get this shoe. Now I ask myself the question, why are shoes so valuable? And the answer to that question is this. See, everywhere you go, your shoe will follow. See, if I want to step right here in this X, my shoe's going to follow. See, your shoes will take you places. I want to tell you a story. In the book of Exodus, there's a man by the name of Moses. See, a lot of you might know Moses for what he did in taking the Israelites out of Egypt and their bondage into the promised land. But a lot of us forget about where Moses came from. See, Moses was a man who, who completely rebelled from God's plan. He actually murdered somebody. And because of what he did, he left Egypt. He left his calling and he went to a place called Midian. And for almost 80 years, he stayed there. But all of a sudden, God had different plans. He planted right in front of him a burning bush. And this burning bush would continue to burn, but the bush would not be consumed. See, the reason why the bush was not being consumed is because this was the very presence of Almighty God. But as Moses would approach this bush, God said, stop and take off your shoes. See, I don't think God is a clean freak. So I ask myself the question, why did Moses have to take off his shoes? And this is the answer. Because God knew that those shoes represented where Moses was. But let me tell you something. God wanted to take Moses to a brand new height. And everybody in this place, God wants to take you to a new height. So I want to encourage everybody to stand up in this place. Everybody stand up in this place. Come forward. Come to a new, a new place. I want to encourage you if, you, if you're usually in the back, come to the front. If you're usually in the front, you, you might want to find another place to worship. Because God's about to erupt in this place with this spirit. Let me tell you something. God has such a mighty plan for you. And see, just as God had taken Moses from all of his mess to his destination, God's going to take each and every one of you. Father God, I thank you for what you're doing in this place, Lord God. I pray that your spirit would move mightily in this place, God. 